It's time for the Frank Ski Show. Introducing the Frank Ski Show. I can get a turn of my- He is in the studio with us. Yes. The one and only Mr. Home for the Holidays himself. Anthony Hamilton. Welcome me, welcome me. <laughs> How y'all doing? Aww. How you been, man? Congratulations. Thank we had a very serious conversation yes. about new artists doing Christmas songs. Yeah. And we agreed that you were the only one that was permitted to do one. I appreciate the that. The reason why is because... Why? Yeah, tell them, Joe. Tell them, Joe. Because you still close to the slave generation, <laughs> and these new cats ain't. Yeah. See, old Christmas songs got some slave in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Temptations <laughs> Christmas, struggle. even though it's good, still got struggle. Yeah. You still got struggle in every song you do. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. I had LeVar Burton, too. LeVar Burton came in to exactly. do background. <laughs> They're going to take that foot. They're going to get that foot. They're going to get that foot. Now sing this carol. <laughs> Something about the fireplace and the, the cocoa and the black Christmas album, you know? Yeah. And we've heard so many that don't make us feel like that, mm-hmm. you know? But we were so happy to hear yours because well, you. it I does. It. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's that feeling. I remember that feeling coming up. So it had to feel like that for me, too. If not, then you might as well just shut it on down and mm-hmm. un- oh, no, unrecord right. it. I tried to listen to Miguel's Christmas album. It just didn't move. Yeah, like, two Chains ain't moving. Yeah, Two Chains <laughs> Christmas album just didn't. I mean, just my did. kids loved it, yeah. but I just really couldn't spark no cocoa up yeah. off of no Two Chains. I Christmas. ain't got no list. Right. <laughs> Santa Claus, listen, won't you please bring me this? <laughs> We've seen you from ATL grow. Thank and you, do brother. what you are today, and we're Thank proud you. of you. You was a young cat doing like grown music, yeah. and people didn't expect that. But you have caught on to the point where you have just a following, and your following goes from teenagers all the way to people up in their seventies and eighties that love your music. How does that make you feel? It feels great, man. It's almost like you know, I can I can be the one at the family reunion and have it all <laughs> sought off. You know what I mean? Everybody so, wants yeah, you. Everybody wants yeah, everybody wants you. Yeah, and, and you know, grandmother can listen to it with her grandkids, and right. you know, that's just that. That whole bond, creating that bond again. There are certain artists like yourself that even when you don't have an album out, you can tour because people are just going to come anyway on the strength you of your go. music. Well, I, yeah, I told you that. You know, we, I, my yeah. boyfriend and I have a rule at certain artists. We yeah. only go to those shows together, and you're one of them. Oh, because, man. you know, He's, the love that you hating. exude in the music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop tell hating. him, please. Yeah. Tell him. Nah, Robert, you don't want to lose it. You don't want to lose this woman to yeah. Charlene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One thing I also love about you that um, people may or may not know is that you're the father of six boys. Yes. Wow. And I know that you do a lot of work in the community and you have a nonprofit and all that. And I was wondering, you know, with everything that's been going on in our nation with, you know, young men, how has that sort of affected you in your life and, you know, being an artist and speaking out about it? Well, I mean, you know, you, it's a sensitive subject, you know. You, ha- you have boys and you, you hope that. You didn't pray that that didn't happen to someone close to you, and but, but to see it happen to any kid, you know that's a big loss to it. any parent. You know you feel that that pain. I just tell my boys to just maintain a cool head, a cool you know stay level headed and think things out before you react, mm-hmm. and uh, try not to put yourself in certain situations where you have to, um, you know, where you may be subject to that type of uh, you know disrespect. Mm-hmm. Right. Wow. So. Right. You know, as I as I as I watch you and look at you and think about the holiday time, let let me ask you, what is your biggest holiday memory, yours, either as a child or as an as an adult? Wow. Now, you know, I've had some great ones with with, with my little ones, uh, and you know, just all all of them being together. That that's the first right. time I had my house. Okay, got my first, very first house, house. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And have them all in the house. That was yeah. big. Oh, yeah. That must so feel that, so that good. Was, that was great. What about when you were younger? Oh man, get my first bike. Yeah. That's everybody. You know, <laughs> right back back in the day, I used to have to go get the bike and put it together, spray paint it, make it look new. Right. Exactly. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Get your first new you one. Was a big. You found a tie over here, and then you found another that was rim. Big. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. That album music in your head the whole time yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, how do you keep, you know, your kids know you're famous and you're an artist. Or how do you keep their expectations about Christmas in check? You know what? They're just pretty good guys, you know, all the way around. And they don't, you know, they don't get unlevel-headed. They they pretty much know what it is. It's about more about Christ and 
That's and, right. and his love, and right. they don't really ask me for a bunch of stuff like material stuff. I have, oh, I have a awesome. question I've been wanting yeah. to ask you as long as I know you. What's up? What made you go? Sometimes you gotta walk to work. Hey, because <laughs> I ain't had no car. <laughs> 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 I didn't get my first ride until I was like 30-something. <laughs> I just didn't have no but other way. That's what made me a fan immediately. The first time I heard that song, I wasn't yeah. then at the end when I heard, sometimes you got to walk to. I said, well, he's going to get replayed in my car again and again. I used to work, to the, I used to work at the Waffle House, and I would walk every day. Oh, wow. you ain't smothered, covered, I dice, smothered and pepper, covered. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I love you to death. Yeah. Even more, Scatter brother. Scatter, cover, smothered. Yeah, all that. Wow. wow. I used to work doubles, too. Like, I, just, I ain't got nothing else to do. Let me stay at work. At the Waffle House. Man, look, I, pr- I promise you, yeah, yeah. God is good, man. God yeah. is incredible. God, God is, is good. Anthony Hamilton, our special guest, man. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you all for the having Frank me, Ski man. Show. I appreciate we appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you too. Time for the Frank Ski Show. Introducing the Frank Ski Show. I can't even turn the